Welcome to an episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about dual mining ETH and CASPA. Now, if you're not familiar with CASPA, well, CASPA is the new girl in school. And guess what? She's smoking hot. And your girlfriend, Ethereum, yeah, she's been cheating on you with proof of stake. So it's time to move on. But before you get to, you better do your research, because you better believe the rest of the miners are doing theirs. So, if you want to find out a little bit about CASPA, I suggest you go to caspa.org. And there you're going to find some information such as CASPA is the fastest and most scalable level 1 instant confirmation transaction layer ever built on a proof of work engine. Transactions sent to miners can be included immediately in the ledger, which is structured as a revolutionary block DAG. CASPA is based on the Ghost DAG Phantom Protocol a scalable generalization of Nakamoto's consensus. Its design is faithful to the principles that Satoshi embedded into Bitcoin. Proof-of-work mining, UTXO-formed isolated state, deflationary monetary policy, no pre-mine, and no central governance. CASPA is unique in its ability to support high block rates while maintaining the level of security offered by proof-of-work environments. CASPA's current mainnet operates with one block per second. After the ongoing Rust language rewrite, the core developer's goal is to increase the number of blocks per second substantially, thereby attracting layer two development of smart contracts and DeFi. Sounds great. I really like what I'm hearing so far, but in today's episode, we're focused on dual mining. So let's take a look at the mining page on their website here. And if you scroll down close to the bottom, you're going to find some mining resources. One of those I want to point out to you is the GPU hash rate guide. Now they do currently have dual mining settings for both Team Green and Team Red. If you take a look at let's say a 3090, you're getting 434 mega hash on Caspa, 124 mega hash on Ethereum at 374 watts with a lock core clock at 1175 and a memory offset of 3100. A few other examples here, not many AMD cards yet to be displayed, uh, but if you're looking for hash rates specifically on CASPA by itself, they have those as well as overclocks. So, the current price of CASPA is coming in at 0 .003 cents, and as you can tell by this chart, it's going parabolic. And why is it going parabolic? Well. One reason is because it's a brand new project. It just came out in June, but the speculation from miners' point of view when it comes to Ethereum switching to proof of stake is kind of pumping the rest of these coins, such as Ethereum Classic, Ergo, uh, you name it. But if you take a look at the hash rate currently on CASPA, you'll notice over the last seven days, we basically doubled. We are up to almost 60 terahash, which is just absolutely incredible and heartbreaking at the same time for me because I would like for the difficulty to stay low. But for the sake of our community, I want to share this with you guys. So if you're going to dual mine Caspa, what's step number one? Step number one is creating a wallet. And you can create a wallet by going to wallet.caspanet.io and just select create new wallet. Once you create a password, you want to write down your seed phrase, and then you're going to copy that new wallet address. You're going to go over to your HiveOS farm. You're going to select wallets, and then you're going to add a new wallet. You're going to tell it that it is Caspa. You're going to paste your wallet address here. You're going to give it a name. And then once you have created it, it should look something like this. Once you've got your wallet created, you're going to go back to your farm. You're going to select one of your workers. And you're going to select flight sheet. Now, I have already created a flight sheet. So we're going to take a look at the existing flight sheet that I created. First, we have Ethereum as our primary coin. We have our Ethereum wallet address. You have your pool. In my case, I'm mining to Hivon currently. And then you're going to select your miner. Now, I selected LOL miner for a couple of reasons. 
One, because I have some mixed rigs and it does run on NVIDIA and AMD. Uh, but two, I find the interface a bit more appealing. Now, if you prefer, you can also use BZ Miner if you have a mixed rig, or if you're running AMD only, you can run SRB Miner. Now, the second thing you're going to do here is you're going to select Miner Config, and you're going to make sure that ETH is your primary algorithm. You've got your default template here. Then you need to make sure you select Caspa Dual. You're going to use the default template, which I will copy and paste below in the description. And I am using Wooly Pulley and port 3112 for the US. Once you have created your flight sheet, you can launch it from that screen. And then you're going to see, it may take a little while for both algorithms to populate. This is a 3070 Ti rig, all founders editions. And CASPA is a core intensive algorithm. Um, you can keep your current settings for Ethereum. And these are pretty close to what I run on Ethereum as well. I'm normally running my 3070 Ti's at about 180 watts and usually getting between 80 to 82 mega hash. Now it does increase your power usage as you can see, uh, but we are getting 212 to 218 mega hash. And you can do the math using a tool on Caspa's website here. There is a profit calculator. However, I like using the Wooly Pooly calculator. Now this is my current farm and I am sitting at about 3.14 gigahash over the last 30 minutes or 3.26 over the last three hours or 2.77 gigahash over the last 24 hours. Now on Wooly Pooly, there is a calculator page here and I took the liberty of entering my farm here minus one worker that is down because it is right next to me and it's very loud and for the sake of your ears I have it turned off currently but I am at 1137 mega hash on Ethereum and I am using about 3000 watts you can gather that information just by looking at the top of your farm here so going back to the calculator I also have my Caspa hash rate entered here. It is a heavy hash algorithm. I do have my power set to zero because I already have a number for my total power. And as you can see, Ethereum comes in at $29.29 in profit and $5.22 in profit on Caspa. Now, if I were to take Caspa out and adjust my power, then you can see I'm still very close to where I was previously without dual mining CASPA. So I'm losing out on about $5 a day if I'm not dual mining CASPA. Now that is not my sole purpose. I am going to hold CASPA for the long term. And I'm very much excited about dual mining CASPA with Ergo, which I believe is coming soon. I asked this question on Reddit, is anyone aware of developments on dual mining Ergo and Caspa? And according to this person here, SRB Miner has for AMD, BZ Miner might come this week or next. So yeah, good things coming for Caspa guys. If you aren't already on this, you better do it now before it's too late. Appreciate you watching the video. I'm out.